This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. It's coming up towards the end of July so that is the time in the month when I like to do my small shop showcase for the month. This is where I show you all of the diamond painting related accessories I've been buying during the month because for me <laughs> I don't just collect the diamond paintings I have a major issue with collecting all of the accessories too. <laughs> So I am going to show you all of the things that I've picked up recently. And the first one is one I've been very excited about. I've left it in its packaging and everything so that I, I mean, I have had a peek, obviously. I'm not a saint, <laughs> but I've left it in its packaging so I can show you how, I, how it came because I have got another cover minder from Agnes Little Minders. I showed one of these before in a, in a showcase video. And the last one I had, um, was a little chameleon and this one well I'll show you in a minute so Agnes Little Minders they come packaged really beautifully like this she's a lady over in Wales which you know I'm Welsh so that always appeals anyway um, and she makes the most beautiful unique cover minders that you've ever seen so she always sends a little card like this thank you so much oh you can see there it's a turtle <laughs> um, and just all of her socials all of that kind of thing and very helpfully a little care instruction because this is made out of polymer clay so it's not indestructible well most things aren't really are they <laughs> but anyway that's all really helpful I'm going to keep that little envelope and just show you all of her socials there in case you want to check her out. If you like what you're about to see, you are best off joining her Facebook group because they are highly in demand. They're not generally available on her Etsy shop because they sell out as soon as they're loaded. Um, so what you need to do is go on her Facebook group and watch out there and she will tell you when she's going to do a drop. And at drop time, you need to be ready because they go like that. But this one was a little bit different. This one, she announced a pre-order window was going to be open for a few days. Um, so I, I took advantage of that to buy one at a slightly more relaxed pace, uh, which did mean I had to wait several weeks. It, it took probably a couple of months for me to receive it. Maybe not quite that long, actually. No, I don't know, five or six weeks, something like that. But that was all within the expectations that she set at the start. So no complaints here. So she sent a little lolly wrapped in some more tissue. I'll give that to my son. He likes watermelon. I do not. Ugh. <laughs> and what's that? Oh, a herbal tea bag, looks like. So let me show you my minder. As you can see, I did break open the tissue that was wrapped around it. Here he is. Isn't it gorgeous? So pretty, let me get it out. So the um, the other side of the magnet is taped to the side of the box. So I'm gonna pull that out now because I haven't used it yet. And that has polymer clay covering as well. Nice decorative bit there. But the main drawer, let me get those bits of cotton wool off, is obviously the actual minder and he is so gorgeous. So I can't remember exactly what there was available in this pre-order. I know there were two kinds of turtles, with glitter and without. And of course I went for with glitter. <laughs> I love me a bit of glitter. Um, and there was something else as well. I'm, I'm not sure what that was. I went for this one because I think it was a little bit cheaper possibly and also very cute. But yeah, th these aren't cheap. I will warn you of that if you're stalking for them because I joined the Facebook group and got myself all set up to buy the first time. And then you don't have time to really think about it in the moment because you know they're going to go quick. So I did buy, but I, I was probably not expecting quite the price that I paid. But that said, it's it's so incredibly unique and I just, I can only imagine 
the amount of hours of practice that have gone into getting this good and then also still making each one. So look at the detail, like look at his tiny little eyes and all these dots and spots. It must have taken ages. So I'm not complaining about the price, just commenting on my possibly slightly unrealistic expectations the first time, but this one was a little cheaper. Good strong magnets, they connect very strongly indeed. Um, so yeah, here is my little turtle. I need to give him a name. What do you reckon? What shall I call him? <laughs> Help me out in the comments with, with names for my turtle, because he's adorable. He's going to be going on my painting now I film this. So that is my first purchase for this month. Next up, there's always at least one pen, isn't there? And this, this month there is, in fact, one pen. And it's this one from C'est Plus Beau Zator. They're a shop that I buy from pretty frequently. You'll have seen them pop up on these videos plenty of times before. And they do these very individual pens. Every one comes out slightly differently. Um, and I buy them reasonably often when I get a chance. I say when I get a chance because the way they do it is Facebook drops where you uh, put your name in for a right to buy a pen. So if you're interested in pens from them, join their Facebook group. Lots of weekdays, not all of them, but quite often on weekdays they will put up a post saying here are the pens that we have. They'll be available for purchase at I think it's 6 p.m. UK time tonight. Put your name in, no, in the comments, comment the, the code for the pen that you want. And then at the end of the day, they do a random draw to see who has won the right to buy each pen out of the people who wanted to. Now, most of the pens that they do there are too chunky for me. They're not necessarily chunky pens, although they do do some extra thick chunky ones for those who like them. It's just that I like slim pens. I only have small hands. I, I find chunky pens are a bit much for me. They're also often quite nice and short, which I appreciate as well. I don't necessarily like a really long hand, long pen for the same reason. So I tend to take a look every time they put a post up and if they have any particularly slimline pens, I quite often find myself commenting <laughs> to, to be in with a chance of buying it. And actually I think the slim ones are probably less popular, either that or I've just been incredibly lucky because I've had quite a good hit rate for, for winning the right to buy them. So this one, I think, I mean, it's it's very, very pretty. It's probably not my favorite one I've had from them. I've had more stunning ones, but it is just such a perfect size for my hand. I really, really, really like using it. So that is my pen, my one and only pen for this month. <laughs> Next up, I have a purchase that I entirely blame Claire over at Diamond Painting Nerd on YouTube for. Uh, we've become good friends and chat quite often and she was showing me these resin trays that she bought. So I've actually got things all over it. But if I take those off, you can admire my tray in all its beauty. So these are from a shop on Etsy called Love Resin Crafts and this is just stunning. I really, really love it. So they're a resin specialist shop. They're not a diamond painting specifically, um, a diamond painting accessory specific shop, but they have these trinket trays which are the perfect size for your bits and bobs. As you saw when I pulled it over there, it's perfect for me. I have my putties, I have my tweezers and pen, I have a little ball of excess putty that I've pulled out of places when I've needed to change them. I normally have my trash drill pot here as well and that's everything that I need most of the time. And then obviously I have my other accessories that I might need a little further out of reach. What has happened to my tweezers? They've got something on them. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so that is a perfect size tray and it's just so beautiful and the thing that amazes me is how cheap this was because this including postage was £6.50. I don't even know how she's making any money off those. It's a very generously low price. It's very nicely done. There are a couple of bits around the edges that are slightly less smooth when you look close. Nothing that I really particularly notice when I'm using it. And as I say, it was incredibly cheap. So I am not complaining about that whatsoever. 
I chose this one out of the ones that she had ready made. She had a decent range of ready made ones, but she also has custom offerings. So there's, I think it's a, it's around one pound fifty more, maybe one pound forty five more. You can have a custom tray made, um, either in this shape or in a leaf shape that she has, which also looks lovely. Um, and I have ordered one of those already. So that tells you how much I like it. <laughs> I've ordered one, which I'm sure you will see in next month's tray. Um, next month's showcase. The lady who runs the shop as well was really lovely. She was very communicative. I, I messaged her just to say that I was intending to put up a video on YouTube and she was really friendly and lovely. Um, let me show you the other bits that came with it as well. So she included this pouch here. I haven't actually looked in yet. So I've got a drumstick lolly, another treat for my son. <laughs> oh. That was the first lolly falling off the table. I've got a hair clip here with some resin on it. That's really nice. I like that. Just putting it in my hair. Oh, it's a really nice clip actually. I will use that. And this little trash drill pot, which is also gorgeous, really like that. Let me show you that properly. And you've got to bear in mind, these are just extras that came with my order, which uh, was very reasonably priced. So she's been incredibly generous here. I love it. I will definitely be using that. And what have I got here? Here is all of her contact details. So she's on email, Instagram and Etsy. And here's a thank you for supporting my small business card. And a lovely little message on the back there. Sam, I thought that was her name, but I didn't want to say that if I was going to get it wrong. And a resin product care card. So that's always useful as well. I would not necessarily afford of any of this. Um, so yeah. Good to know. I can't believe she sent all those goodies with it, to be honest. I'll show you as well quickly. This is not diamond painting related, but just to give you an idea of some of the other things that she does, um, because it's coming up towards the end of the school year here. So I also picked up this for my son to give his teacher. It's a coaster, really nice hefty one. But yeah, that's gonna go to his teacher on Friday when he finishes for the year. So yeah. I really recommend this shop, lovely lady running it, lovely products, and I will show you my next one next month. Okay, let me get all these cleared away. Okay, last but not least, I placed an order with Kitting Up, <laughs> oops, with Kitting Up Kitten. Um, so this is another Etsy shop based in the UK, but one that maybe a few more people might have heard of because she's rather well known for her trays. But I actually went on there just to order some cover minders. She had these beautiful resin cover minders and I really fancied picking a couple of them up. So I did just that, I ordered them. And when I opened it, because I have had a peek, <laughs> I got this note which says, Dear Cat, please accept my apologies. One minded not available. I was meant to remove listing and forgot. I've replaced with another one and also included a set of my cuck trays. Cuck for kitting up kitten. I hope this will go towards my sorry. With regards, Sam. So, I was more than happy with that. I'll show you everything that I got. So, lovely wrapping in this tissue paper. Um, and a card here, thank you so much for supporting my small business, please do check out my YouTube channel because yeah, she is on YouTube as well. So go give her a follow. So I'll show you, well I'll show you the trays first because you can basically see them. So she sent me two trays and I think this pouch here contains stoppers for them. So I'll get those unravelled which, are they the same size? Yeah, I think so. One is slightly off white, one is white. I'm not sure why the difference, but yeah, put those in. So um, as with all 3D printed um, trays and, and bits and bobs, things that have to fit together tend to be quite stiff at first, but they will loosen over time. So I'm not surprised that that's taken a bit of pushing to get in. So these are really nice lidded trays. 
This one is very cute, little baby one. I used to use small trays like this all the time and now I do more multi-placing. They're not as useful for me, but I do still really like it for confetti pieces because I find if I have a larger tray, I inevitably tip more drills in and I get really annoyed if I only need two or three drills of a color and I've tipped a load in and then I have to tip them all back. So having a smaller tray is quite good for kind of keeping me to the amount of trays, uh, amount of, what am I saying? <laughs> amount of drills that I actually need. I also like that the hole is on this size because quite often, because I'm lazy, I don't use the stoppers on trays that come with stoppers. And I'll pull my tray, my drills in and I'm right-handed. So I'll shake this way and downwards, which means they shouldn't fall out because there's no hole at the bottom. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. And then the larger one, let's try the other stopper. Ooh, that one's really stiff. But as I say, it will loosen. So again, exactly the same, just bigger. There's some little bits in there, that's fine. I'll clean them out. Um, so yeah, it feels like a really nice solid tray, good sides that are a decent depth without being too high. Um, I don't like it too shallow because I tip out drills all the time and I don't like it too high because then I kind of end up doing this with my, my hand all the time. Um, this one will contain a decent amount of drills actually. I think that would be really useful because it's still a very nice size for holding. So very happy to have those for no extra cost. I feel like this has worked out very well for me. <laughs> but thank you, Sam, for your generosity. You really didn't need to go that far in fixing the, uh, the stock error, but I appreciate it all the same. So here are my two cover minders. So I went for, actually, I can't even remember what I ordered because I've had a look at both of these and I was very happy with them. So I don't even know which one was out of stock. There's this heart one, which is, oh, rather large, you can see on the back, the proportion of the magnet to the minder. So I do hope that that will be, it's reasonably heavy for a minder. So I do hope that that will hold on okay. But look at that, isn't that pretty? If it doesn't hold on okay, I can always supplement it with another magnet myself. And I know because obviously I have an Etsy shop and, and sell minders and things as well. It's quite tricky on there with, with how strong magnets you can actually put on things. Um, so often sellers will err on the side of a smaller one. I will say it feels actually plenty strong enough. It's just a little small. So I, I think it will be fine, to be honest. Yeah, I reckon that's gonna be fine. And let me look at the other one. Ooh. Ah, that one's got a little scratch on it that I didn't notice before now. Okay, well, that's all right. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna message her about that when she's already given me all these extras. Um, it's fine. The rest of it is still very, very pretty. Again, nice strong magnet. So yeah, beautiful cover minders. So that is everything that I've been buying this month in the world of diamond painting accessories. I was gonna say it was slightly more moderate than some months, but I've shown you quite a few things, haven't I? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at all these with me. As ever, I will drop links to all of the various um, Etsy shops and Facebook groups and everything that you might need to check if you wanted to purchase from any of these shops in the description box down below. So do go check that out. And yeah, that's me for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next time. Bye bye. Thank you.